Hello everybody, it's Dev from the Modernist Colorists. Colorists? Colorist. Um, I'm just going to do a, a quick review for you of the uh, the special that's come out from the Colouring Heaven. And that is uh, the wonderful Flora and Fauna. Um, now in this, because it's a collection uh, edition, there are 48 images in this as opposed to the usual 40. Uh, exclusively, there are five images in here. Um, they're all by Kelly O'Gorman, who we know from the A to Z books and the Zero to Ten books, um, and obviously that more recently the calendar that uh, a lot of people have bought. Um, so I want to just show you this book um, as it's quite new on the market, and um, just go through it really with you. Um, now, the first thing that struck me was. Um, the fact that there are five exclusive images in here which are exclusive to Colour in Heaven which I'll go through in a moment. Um, the book has got a, uh, a reddish kind of foil emblazed top as you can see on there and then on the back there are several images which are so expertly drawn you will absolutely adore this book I can assure you now so as we open the book, um, we go straight to the first image, which is a exclusive from Kelly. This beautiful rabbit, um, it's kind of semi-grayscale, but not quite. Uh, but the, the sketching and the cross-hatching in, um, in the design allows you to, uh, or should I say, assist you to know where to put the shading. You've got your usual colour combination chart on the left, which allows you to test out mediums and record the ones that you want to use or record the ones that you have used in this particular episode. So there is a small paragraph here which uh, goes on to uh, explain a little bit about Kelly. So I'll read that for you. Uh, Kelly is an artist from Hertfordshire in England who first graduated from the University of Hertfordshire with an MA in Digital Practices in Design. However, it was after graduation that a desire to escape the computer and return to hand-drawn imagery led her to restart her journey as a visual artist. Now, as a creator of the A to Z colouring series, which we've mentioned, uh, she designs intricate and detailed works inspired by the natural world and also by make-believe. So of course that then lends itself straight into the first image which is image number one uh, which is an exclusive exclusive to this particular uh, edition. So you've got the lovely uh, circular image here, you've got the rabbit or even a hare uh, and then you've got the snail and the mushrooms and like I said there's a lot of cross hatching on here that allows you to put the shading in. So that's beautiful. The paper, as per normal, is, is much better than uh, a create space. Uh, and uh, it tends to make me call this a book rather than a magazine because it's such good quality. Um, as it shows on here, number one is exclusive to Cooler in Heaven. And so is number two, which is this beautiful ele uh, elephant. Um, you've got the two birds facing left and right. Uh, which make up the design of the symmetrical pattern straight down the middle. Uh, other sides of, of further up, you've got the two sunflowers. Um, beautiful, beautiful image. And again, it's got cross hatching and a little bit of shading in to help you along. So that's that one. And then the third image, which is exclusive, is this wonderful, wonderful rhino. Uh, it shows... Uh, the horn actually shows a, a volcano that's erupting so you've got this fluid running down the side of the horn which could be lava or it could be anything that you portray really um, you've got the four birds here which make up part of the face uh, ex exclusively to the rhino um, down here you've got two rodents i'll just bring that up a little bit you've got two rodents here that that kind of make up the picture as well and, and again, what a beautiful, beautiful image. Um, so that's exclusive number three. Then we move on to exclusive number four, which is this big stag, uh, which is shown on the front cover here, which can also be coloured, by the way. Um, 
The covers on these magazines lend themselves to be able to take most mediums. Uh, and if you look around on, on social media, you'll see plenty of um, artists that, that, that like to do their covers as well. Um, but this, this image, as a standalone image, is number four. Um, and it's got a lot of intricacies to it. Uh, it's a beautifully drawn image. Again, we've got the, uh, the bits where the shading should be. We've got plenty of butterflies. We've got some vegetation, flowers and fauna on the horns and 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 thing like and things like that so again a stunning image uh, and that's that's our fourth exclusive our fifth exclusive is a gorgeous owl uh, as you can see on here it's beautifully drawn beautiful beautiful uh, image um, this could be done in such a combination of different colours because of the way that it's set out. For instance, you've got the smaller feathers here with, with darker shading, then you've got the, the larger ones with, with a bit less shading, and then you've got the wings that have got uh, vertical feathers on them. You know, you could, you could easily blend about eight or nine colours into that, and I'm sure that there will be people who spot that and think, wow, I can go to town on this. So... That's our fifth and final exclusive to the magazine, or the, or the book. Um, but then we go on to um, the letter A, which is from the, um, the letter books that Kelly brought out. Um, it does give you... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... There's eight different A's in this particular picture. So you've got an apple, an acer, an adder, an am amaryllis, an aster... Abelia, uh, acorn. So of course, obviously this is the adder, these are the acorns, and so on and so on and so on. Um, and the apple, etc, etc. And I, I presume that this flower will be probably the amaryllis. Uh, I'm just guessing, I, I'm not going to pretend I know all those. Uh, and then, then you go on to be, and, and again, the same, the same kind of uh, remittance is brought here. You've got the barn owl, uh, and it tells you all the bees that are in, in, included in the picture. Um, so I'm not going to spoil each page for you, because there is an element of um, of finding these images, and, and probably not finding all of them until you've coloured a few. Um, then we go on to page 8, which is C, which is the third page of the lettering. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cat there, chilling out. Uh, and then you've got the chrysanthemum here. I didn't know that, by the way. And then, of course, you've got D. So you can you can spot what's what in there. But such beautiful images. Um, I'm hoping that light is not too bright for you guys. Let me just turn it on a little bit lower. No. Um, let's have a look. That should be a bit better. I'll just try and move it up a little bit. Hope that's okay. We're not getting a big glare here. There we go. So, and then we move on to F. Uh, that's actually in the letter F. Uh, she's not been able to do it. I don't know if she's done it with all the other ones. Oh, yes, she has. Uh, so not only has it got the elements of the F inside the picture, it is the letter F as well. So as you can see, very, very clever design. Uh, to, certainly to get this G with the, with the, uh, with the tick at the end, uh, using a goat's face to do that. Uh, with, then we've got the H, uh, followed by the I. Uh, there are two I's in there. I won't spoil it. And we've got the J and the K. And all these animals are just beautiful, beautiful to look at. And the monkeys in here are so well drawn. Uh, and of course, you've got the M letter, but there's a lot in here. So again, I'm not going to spoil it. Uh, but you can imagine when you, when you are. Uh, uh, constructing a letter like that letter M let's go back and have a quick look with all the different colors that the um, you know that the 
the animals suggest it's going to look awesome when it's all put together as you can see then we go on to letter N and letter O so we've got some underwater here as well uh, onto P and then onto a beautiful Q with a lot of shading in there and cross hatching that's going to make a fantastic picture if done in pencil and then you've got the R followed by the S and the T and the U and the V and the W and the beautiful X and a gorgeous Y how nice is that and finally on page 31 is a Z but then we go on to some numbers so we've got the zero here which is just called general flowers so again a huge compilation of different colors all put together which would look lovely colored and you've got number one rabbit and then you've got number two which is a cat and dogs cat and dog and then number three is uh, it's got three things in it because it's number three that's got a mouse, a hare and a vole in it so to even to be able to draw a difference between a vole and a mouse is a skill in itself I think but you can actually tell by looking uh, and then 36 which is 4 and of course we've got 4 images now into the uh, into the numeric so we've got 4 there onto 5 and then we have 5 on here and then onto 6 and this is my favourite of the numbers this is number 7 it's got seven uh, different things here but it also includes some water so you can do your shading at the bottom and you've got the grass and you've got this lovely lovely otter and so on and so on that will be brilliant coloured and I think that's the first one I'll, I'll start to do when uh, when I start on this book then we have the eight with eight different items in there obviously the main one is the octopus uh, a very very interesting number nine uh, it's got nine different things in there and she's managed to group them all together uh, that are insects so that, that's an amazing one to 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 be able to think of process and then develop and make into a number nine I think that's staggering and then we go to number 10 and obviously there are 10 different things in there and then we've got the at sign or the ampere sign which is beautiful that's got you know it's got apples and pears it's got a cat and a dog and birds and the bees and then we've some more exclusives so I was actually wrong uh, there isn't five there must be ten and five at the front and five at the back so my apologies for that and of course this one is uh, is a reptile lizard not sure exactly which one it is a iguana or whatever it is but it's very very well drawn exclusive uh, number seven is this big huge swan and there is a toad or a frog here a dragonfly some butterflies and in the background we've got sorry guys that's not a great uh, not a great view is it in the background we've got the sun and the moon and then we've got some water and sky in there exclusive again uh, is this bird on a branch you've got the flowers the fly this is a beautiful one it's uh it's a landscape picture in a heart shape but has a load of bugs inside <laughs> And centipedes and creepy crawlies so that would be again an awesome one to color as you could have a lot of your uh, 
a lot of your effects put in there with the shiny uh, shells that they have and then we've got this wonderful candelabra here that's got some sea horses in it and that's it guys that's the end of the book so I just wanted to bring you a quick um, a quick flip through of that book uh, excuse the software it's the first time I've used this one because usually I live stream um, but I did want to make a video because obviously this is uh, this is something that everybody's been looking forward to so I, I will bid you well um, I hope to speak to you to all tomorrow I'll be streaming live tomorrow and uh, thanks for watching guys I'll speak to you soon